Hey, on this conditions report, we're gonna start in the west and go to the east. And I'm doing that because we'll kind of end with some good news. In the west, I got nothing but bad news, I'm afraid to say. If you've watched the news at all, you know that California and Oregon are experiencing amazing heat and dry. And so it's gonna be a bad production year out west. In the Pacific Flyway, and particularly in California, we know that 70% of the ducks, the mallards that are shot, are locally raised. Well, not this year. It's exceptionally dry, and many of the wetlands are, are just bone dry and producing nothing. So California and Oregon are tough. The marshes around the Great Salt Lake are very low. Nevada's in poor condition, and many of the wetlands are, are completely dry. And the same applies to Idaho. So I don't see good production out west at all. Um, and as you know, in, in the Pacific Flyway, many of the ducks come from the western Canadian provinces of Alberta and Saskatchewan. Well, I'm sad to say that the prairie provinces, the prairie pothole region, this most important duck production area on the planet, is pretty uniformly dry. So Saskatchewan, another year of dry conditions, and, and Alberta has pockets of wet, but it's mostly quite dry. So not gonna have a lot of ducks hitting the Pacific Flyway, or, or young ducks anyway, from the, from the Prairie Pothole region. Throughout the Prairie Pothole region, this is a, a unique year in that it's, it's pretty much dry everywhere. So in the last few years, we've seen great conditions in some places. The Dakotas were exceptionally wet, Saskatchewan was dry. This year, it's pretty much dry across the Prairie Pothole region. So in North Dakota, for instance, where we did the state survey, um, we saw the greatest year-over-year -year reduction in wetlands that we've ever seen in, in 74 years that the state waterfowl biologists have been doing surveys. So we were really wet yet wet last year in the Dakotas, and this year it's really dry. This wetland behind me was an oasis last year. You know, water as far as you could see. And this year, due to summer rains, we have a trickle of water coming down this stream, but you can see the mud flat that's been dry almost all summer. So uh, the good news is what little water we had, we've had summer rain. So we didn't get the winter snow to, to fill wetlands, but we've had some summer rain. So where there's water, there's still some brood water, which is better than I might've expected. But throughout the Dakotas, it's pretty bad. Pockets of wet, Dr. Chris Nikolai, our, our scientist was down in South Dakota and he was surprised to see a few places few regions that had some water and quite a few broods, but it's not good production here in the Prairie Pothole region. The good news is that wetlands, you know, many of the seasonal wetlands started dry, and so they produced a great crop of vegetation. And so next spring, if it gets wet, as we expect, uh, you know, they'll be super productive. And, uh, and the other good news is that ducks are flexible. Ducks move around. So Wisconsin just released a report and even though they have fewer wetlands than last year, they have twice as many ducks. So, you know, ducks are able to find what water is available. Um, now, let's move on east and, and we can finish with some good news. You know, folks in the Atlantic Flyway are gonna see things relatively better than the other flyways. The eastern, eastern Canada is quite wet this year. It's, it's slightly above average and gonna have pretty good duck production, particularly for mallards that, that hit the Atlantic Flyway. And that's a contrast to last year when it was very dry. So, so I'd say the Atlantic Flyway is gonna have the best conditions relative to prior years. Um, and otherwise, in the Prairie Pothole region, we're gonna see poor duck production this year.